what the fuck is up? It's the motherfucking Robin Hood fiend. And yeah, I've been gone for a little minute. Cause stock took a shit, you know what? Uh, it's been like a year or two, but hey, guess what? I'm, I'm back. I'm by the, the, hey, by popular demand, the fiend is back. I, I've had a little request, like, yo, where the plays at? They're there. Just not at, at, you know what I'm saying, at the magnitude they were before, but yeah, like, hey, ever since that, ever since the 100K, I got greedy, I held the bag, I'm like, yo, this thing gotta keep going. But it didn't. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I got, I got like around 4,500, five racks in there. I pulled out when it was like around 15. Hey, yep. I pulled out like 10, I'm like, yo, I gotta live on this, you know what I'm saying? I gotta live for the meanwhile. But for real, hey, shout out to that nigga Miguel, though. He, he's like, yo, we're the Robin Hood Fiend Because <laughs> I post moves on my snap, but those are just every once in a while whenever I got like a crazy 150% gain or a little something tasty. But yeah, I'm going to try to see what's up with the Fiend. We're starting with five Racky, so this is definitely a realistic 5K rebuild. I'm going to try. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. And yeah. Hopefully, uh, you guys, you know, hopefully I, I stick with this and drop a, a couple videos and see what's up. Because I don't know, I got a good feeling I got everything measured out. I'll show you all my research in the later videos, but yeah, man, it's been a good road trip with y'all. This is a real Robin Hood Fiend, aka the LA Beast. That's what, you know what? Time has passed. And I think I got a good uh, grasp on what's going on so far with the interest rates and what's going on. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be making plays right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you all the plays I'm in right now. I'm gonna get them out the top of my head and hopefully I can edit some, do a little something, a little magic. You know what I'm saying? How they say in Peru. Um, yeah, cause right now I'm, I'm shorting. I'm in SPXS or some shit like that. The inverse S&P 500 bear three times inverse to ETF. I got, it's like $21 right now. I got a, I got a call debit spread but for the $19 call, but I sold the $23 call. I got like around 12 contracts for 2024. I got time. Oh yeah, the recent, you know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta pay our dues from, from printing all those, all those monies. And I think that might be the way to go for the next year or so. But I also have really deep in the money call debits for Astra and Labu, which is the biopharmaceutical ETF. Um, what is it, Lever CTF? Because it used to be like over a hundred dollars. Like the last low was like thirty bucks. But with everything going on, it's sitting at six fucking dollars. So I'm like, yo, I'm gonna buy the the three dollar call. And I'm gonna sell the six dollar call for the debit spread to provide some leverage, you know, some cover, some shield. I ain't trying to go there naked yet. Hey, I yep. Calls. But yeah, I have that, and then I'm shorting the spy. I'm shorting the Nasdaq because, come on, we've been having a, a green couple weeks, but I think that's just to get sentiment back and people can get hope and put their money back into the stocks before it rips again i look uh, i wish i had the graph on me right now because it dipped in the morning you know the morning my puts were up yeah but yeah i i'm gonna try to upload three times a week a little monday tuesday no no what is it monday wednesday i was gonna say friday but i'm gonna be lazy friday after work yeah, I'm uh, three times a week. Let's just let, just be happy if I do two, and then let's do get some consistency with three. But I'm gonna try to do some play. You know, Mondays I'm gonna try to let y'all know the plays that I, I made, and then Wednesdays I'm gonna update you on the plays from Monday, and then Friday we're gonna do the results, upcoming plays of the week little hunches I have about what's going up or down, but yeah, three times a week, what's going on, the Robin Hood Fiend is back.